Cardi. Hello. Does anybody know who Janelle Selvich is? She is me. Yeah. I am 36 years old and I have three children. <laughs> Nine-year-old Jayla. I have three-year-old Aria. One-year-old Akari Jr. And I'm a dog mom to two American bullies. Arish. Castro, who is two, and Coco, who is four months. I also have a very handsome fiance named Akari. This is currently my third attempt at becoming a registered nurse. My first attempt was 19 years ago, and I am sharing why and how I ended up taking the speech class for the third time. To show you that you should never give up. I have watched your classes introductions videos, and I know that some of you are enrolled in the ADM program. That program is a very difficult program, and it can get the best of you. I hope by sharing my experiences with this speech, I can help others in our class not give up on their dreams. I knew I wanted to be a nurse after going to a career fair when I was a freshman in high school. I was able to take my CNA class as a senior, and from then I went to Parkside. At Parkside, I learned the hard way about college. I did not know how to hold myself accountable and the freedom got the best of me. My stay at Parkside was very short-lived. I went there for about two semesters and then I got put on academic suspension. Yeah. After Parkside, I found myself at Gateway. I took a ton of classes waiting to get into the program and then a ton more waiting to petition. I can recall the day that my number was called up. I was so excited, thinking that it was going to be the beginning of my end. Little did I know that it was just the start and it had nowhere near the end of my beginning to my long academic journey. During first and second semester, I learned a lot. I learned a lot about nursing as well as myself as a student. I also developed a friendship with one of my classmates that is still one of my closest friends to this day. After second semester, I decided to take the NCLEX PN just for practice. So I knew what to expect when I completed the program and had to take the NCLEX RN exam. I didn't study and the day I had to take my test, I ended up waking up late. I was the last person in the testing site and then I ended up being the first person out. Somehow, I ended up passing. Little did I know that I was gonna be my saving grace later. I went on to third and fourth semester. I ended up failing CHA 2 my first time taking it, and at that time, I just kind of brushed it off knowing that taking it the second time, I was going to learn more. I was gonna learn more, and I was gonna come out better. Well, my second attempt didn't end up being such a pleasant experience. Due to the fact that I had to retake the class, I ended up one of the, I ended up with one of the least wanted teachers and she did not make this experience a positive one. She didn't respect or understand my learning style like my past teachers did. I ended up failing that class by three fourths of a percentage point. The sad part is, is that I did the thing that you should never do, and I changed my answers at the last minute. I actually changed two, two answers, and they were both right the first time. So, I tried to fight two, two different answers with my teacher, but the meeting with the teacher and her superior didn't go very well. I was belittled and I was told that I did not have what it, what it took to be a nurse. This was a very devastating time in my life. 
I did the best I could to try to stay positive and to show my support for my classmates and my friend that I was so proud of her success and hard work. But inside, I was breaking down. I ended up quitting my job that I loved over the embarrassment of not being able to continue in the position that I had. All of this happened in December. It wasn't until July when I was finally able to work in the healthcare field again. I was able to get a job at the county working as an LPN. So that test that I ended up taking just for practice saved me. It allowed me to be able to still continue to do something that I love. Now, let's fast forward 11 and a half years. I am currently still working at that same place as an LPN. I have been asked countless times over the years why I didn't go back to school, etc., etc. And honestly, the trauma from that meeting that I had with my teacher and her superior has always held me back. I don't ever want to feel that way I did ever again. Mommy, mommy. I ended up, it mommy. wasn't ended up until recently that I was able to even talk about this subject without getting emotional. Mommy, this what? past summer, I was able mommy, to, what? I was able to lead what? and teach my fellow coworkers the ins and outs of the new charting system. Due to COVID, no one from the charting system company was able to come in and help teach us, guide us, and build the system the way that we needed it to. So, it was all on me. I held classes and taught everybody from CNAs to nurses to therapy how to use that system. I landed the job that I'm currently doing now by that. I really, really enjoy my current position and I would like to be able to stay in it. So here I am taking this class for the third time. By going back to school to finish my degree that I started 19 years ago, I sh should be able to help retain my current position. I am taking on such a big task by starting school again now at the most hectic time in my life. But I am able to do so knowing that my mindset is in a whole different place and that by completing this degree successfully, I'm able to show my children that you should never give up on your dreams and not to let one setback write your future. I also hope that my story is able to help other people, maybe even one of you. So throughout your schooling, if you find yourself down and out in that place thinking that you're not going to be able to succeed please just think of that girl janelle solovich in speech class and how she overcame and started over three times looking back i wish i had someone like myself to share their experiences with me it might not have taken me such a long time to go back to school i want to thank you for your time and i wish you all of the best in your schooling journey